Hello everyone! Today, Microsoft changed one of their most popular expert certifications, the Azure Solutions Architect Expert. And at the same time, they released a brand new exam, the AZ-305. In this video, we're really going to cover what this change means, why the change was made, and also answer some of your most popular questions on how this change might impact you if you're in the process of studying for this exam. So let's get started right after the intro. Okay, so first things first, just as a recap, for those of you that don't follow certifications closely, or maybe you are not as far in your certification journey as to look at an expert level certification, but before today, in order to get your Azure Certified Solutions Architect Expert Certification, you needed to pass two certification exams, the AZ-303 and the AZ-304. And compared to most other export certifications in the Microsoft portfolio, there was no other prerequisite. So you didn't even need to go take an associate level certification. You could become directly an expert. And that's what changed today. Microsoft announced a brand new certification exam, which is AZ-305 over here. But instead of passing the 303, 304, you now need one exam, but there's a catch. You also need to have your Azure Administrator Associate certification over here. So it gets a bit more in line with all of the other expert level certifications by Microsoft, you need to have one associate level certification, and then you can pass your expert level exam to get an expert level certification. But why did Microsoft make this change? And even if they did an official blog post over here, and by the way, all of the links I will talk about will be in the description of the video, but, uh, even in the blog post, I find that Microsoft didn't really talk about why they actually made this change. Like what feedback did they get in order to change this really popular certification? As an MCT regional lead, I really get to talk with a lot of Microsoft certified trainers with a lot of students across the globe. And there was some common feedback around the certification is that when somebody usually studied to get the certification, especially people that their organization sent them to a Microsoft training center to follow the certification and the official courses, they usually did the Azure Administrator Associate first. That's a four-day course. Then they did the AZ-303, which is a five-day course and then the AZ-304, which is another four-day course, and that made it 13 days of training. And even if the administrator associate was not mandatory, a lot of organizations and trainers recommended that path. At the same time, there was a ton of overlap between the AZ-104, which is the Azure Administrator Associate, and the uh, exams 303 and 304. So with all of that feedback, Microsoft decided to simply make the Azure Administrator Associate a prerequisite and then remove all of that overlap from 303, 304, combine them in one single certification, which is the AZ-305. Something that's really important to know, as I know, especially for people that they're planning for the exam right now and maybe go going to take it soon, the AZ-303 and 304 will not retire until March 31st, 2022. So 
Microsoft really gave us a six months head up, which most people really appreciate. I really think we should get this kinds of this kind of a heads up for every single certification. But don't worry. If you're studying right now for 303 and 304, you are fine. You can still pass those two exams and get your architect certification until March 31st, 2022. If you're an Azure Administrator Associate already and you maybe you did not plan already or you did not sign up for classes for 303 or 304, you can actually start getting the beta for the 305 in November 2021. And this way, you will only need one single exam in order to get your expert certification again if you have the Azure Administrator Associate. So just to recap, until March 31st, 2022, there are three different ways you can achieve the Azure Solutions Architect Expert Certification. Either have your Azure Admin Associate plus Exam 305 once it's available, Azure 303 plus 305, that might be really cool for people that already took the 303 but maybe didn't already study for the 304 specifically. You can just go take the 305 or again, until March 31st, 2022, you can keep the original path and just take 303 and 304 without needing to take the 305 or without needing to take the admin associate. Okay, so those are the news. If we actually go and talk about some really popular questions, and I'll actually leave this here, especially that... I put this on Twitter a bit earlier today and I got a lot of questions. So I wanted to recap all of them in a video. So first question I got, what happens if I'm already an Azure Solutions Architect Expert? I already took the 303, 304. Do I need to take the 305? No, you do not. Because you already have that certification, the only thing you need to do is to keep doing the free yearly renewals. You will get an email when it's time for you to renew that certification. So you do not need to go take the AZ-305. Another really interesting question I got is, what happens if I did the AZ-100 back in the day, before the AZ-104? You did the AZ-100, you got your Azure Admin Associate, can you take the 305 now and take the Azure and become Azure Solutions Architect Expert Certified? And the answer to that is yes. So even if you did not take the 104, which is the current exam needed for Azure Admin Associate, as long as you kept that certification up to date, you do not need to go past the 104. You're you're already Azure Admin Associate certified, so you could just go take the 305, and that's about it. Other questions, and we'll take a look at what Microsoft added here. Uh, how can I prepare? Uh, I've already earned a Microsoft certified Azure Admin Associate. What should I do? That is great. Can I renew? And this is really the most popular question I got. Can I renew my... Azure Solutions Architect Expert by going for the 305. No, you do not need to pay, which is amazing. You just need to uh, go to the free yearly renewal. And the other question, again, what happens if you are already an Azure Solutions Architect Expert certified, but you don't have the Azure Admin Associate? You will not lose your certification you already got that certification. So as long as you keep doing the three yearly renewals, you are good to go. You will not lose the certification. So this is it. I wanted to keep this a bit short and sweet. I'll put all of the links to the AZ-305, to the Azure Solutions Architect Expert page, and the blog post, all of them inside the description of this video. And if you have any questions, 
please do not hesitate to ask them in the YouTube comments below. I will do my best to answer as soon as possible. In my opinion, this is amazing news for, especially for learners, but also for Microsoft certified trainers, because imagine having the same people in your class and going over the same subject. It's tough to fill this many days of training and we don't want people to pay for training as well if they already got it. So by removing the overlap between all those three exams and reducing the number of exams to two, everybody will be happier and it will really allow people to study on things that matter the most. So thank you very much for watching this video. It was a short video. I really hope you enjoyed. And it's really important, again, if you're planning to get this certification, go check out the skills outline for the AZ-305. And until March 31st, 2022, you got three different options on how you can achieve this expert level certification. So this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you want to stay up to date with all the Microsoft certification portfolio, new certifications, big changes such as this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm really putting out a bunch of videos on certifications out there and always appreciate your support. So thank you very much for watching.